Good evening, sports fans, and if you haven't realized it by now, March Madness officially got underway this afternoon as the NCAA tournament opened up play, and I know you're saying, hey, Walt, what's with the basketball on the set? Believe me, it helps me get me in the mood for hoops, but first, the NIT tournament. Locally, Arizona State Sun Devils opened up the NIT against the Georgetown Hoyas, and my, oh my, it's John Thompson, a big fella. The Hoyas got off to a fast start. Jerry Brown with the tray. Georgetown led 21-7, to but the Devils do come back. Lester Neal with a career night, 26 points. Here with the monster stamp, slam, Neal suffering from the flu but hanging tough. Then the Devils went on a 15-0 run. Riley with a three-pointer, but the Hoyas still led by four at the break. Devils coming back, though, in the second half. ASU kicked it into high gear. Capers to Smith for the three. Headache cans the jumper, and ASU takes a 44-43 lead, their first lead of the game. But down the stretch, the Hoyas pounded inside to Othello Harrington, who had 25 points and 18 rebounds. Georgetown pulls away for an impressive 78-68 victory, thus ending a storybook season for the Devils. This was a special team right here, a team, a bunch of overachievers and whatnot. I think we gelled, we came together as a unity, as a family, and I think most of all what I miss is the closeness. But all in all, it's been a great, a great two years here. But the fact is, we won 18 games, you know, we overachieved. People didn't expect as much out of us as it was, you know. So, I mean, I'm just glad for the team, I'm glad for the coaching staff that we even made this far, you know. As Smith said, ASU finished at 18 and 10 overall, tied for third place in the Pac-10 with UCLA. Not bad for a team. The media picked to finish last in the conference. Turning now to the big show. Now, if you weren't out at the ASU game, something tells me you were watching the Arizona Wildcats on TV, their first round game of the NCAA tournament. Erase the tapes in Salt Lake City. Arizona, the number two seed, going up against Santa Clara, the number 14 seed, right? Wrong. Eisenreich with the block on Reeves. Up to none, to Dunn for the layup. It's good. Santa Clara up by 10. But Arizona comes back, Nash's brother's loving it. Chris Mills inside for two of his 19 points, but Mills would later go into foul, get into foul trouble. Things did not look good for the Cats. Mr. Eisenreich with the jumper. Broncos lead for good. Can you believe it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? One last chance, Stoudemire with the brick. Arizona loses 64 to 61. Santa Clara goes on to the big show. Where's the font? Oh. <laughs> Santa Clara wins it. They'll take on Temple that beat Missouri 75 to 61. In the other bracket, Illinois nips Long Beach State and Vandy cruises past Boise State. In the Midwest, Todd Bozeman and Cal up against LSU. This one came down to the final seconds. I can't bear to watch either. Freshman sensation Jason Kidd with, to the lane. The spin move, the underhand layup is golden. The Bears win it. Can you believe it? Another look shows why Kidd was the most sought-after high school player in America last year. It's good. Cal moves on to the second round. They will take on defending champion Duke, who routed Southern Illinois 107-70. Yes, that score is correct. And then earlier today, Kansas pulls away from Ball State late, and BYU gets past SMU and the Battle of the U's. Okay, timeout. <laughs> you need a T.O., baby. We got a timeout. I'm, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I got to work, I got to work, I got to work. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get the ball spinning. All right, I've ever seen this done. All right, let's go. In the southeast region, Tulane coach Perry Clark of the, rides the green wave against Kansas State and Dana Altman. The Wildcats lead early on. Arian Collier, red hot, hitting all seven shots in the first half. 14 points for him. And the second half was nip and tuck. But here comes Anthony Reed with the slam. 12 points on the day. But the game came down to this final play. With under a minute to play, Matt Green gets the hoop and some harm. He would later finish the three-point play. And the wave is riding high. K-State down by two. Mr. Late Gamer Ruggs. Anthony Bean can't even get the shot off. Tulane holds on for the 55-53 win. The Green Wave will take on the Seminoles of Florida State, who beat the Purple Aces by 12. In the other half of the region, Western Kentucky over Memphis State. Seton Ball had a ball against Tennessee State. Finally, Rhode Island and Purdue, and the circus is in town. And Glenn, Ro Glenn Robinson has his own circus, flies through the air, slam. He's walking the walk and talking the talk. 36 points for Robinson, the Big Ten's leading scorer, but it wasn't enough. 
Carlos Cofield scored 16 of his 22 points in the second half in front of family and friends from nearby Charlotte. Purdue never recovered, and the Rams go on to win their first NCAA game since reaching the Sweet 16 in 1988. But things get tough from there. They'll take on North Carolina that whooped up on East Carolina by 20. St. John's no problem with Texas Tech and the other regional, while Arkansas shows no mercy, smashing Holy Cross by 30. Well, that's it for sports right now. I'll be back later on in the show. Until then, may all your jumpers hit nothing but net.